Over the last few days, we've been dialing in the camera settings on our Mavic 2 Pro to create the ultimate hyperlapse. What it came down to was eight techniques that you can use to create the perfect shot. Let's take a look. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind is shutter speed. We experimented with a bunch of different options for this and found that one fourth of a second was by far the best one. A few reasons for that. The first one is that it creates a very crisp image quality while leaving the shutter open for longer and allowing for a nice motion blur. So a nice long shutter speed, but also that crisp video quality in the end. So next up, you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind the intervals. And we found that two second intervals were by by far the best for creating a stunning hyperlapse video. Those two seconds are the intervals at which the image is captured. So more images captured every two seconds allows for a longer video in the end. So you're gonna get anywhere between nine to 10 seconds of great hyperlapse footage. So the third tip on our list is ND filters, which you're always gonna to wanna to use, especially with a shutter speed of one fourth of a second. So the shutter is open for longer, allowing more light in and ND filter are little sunglasses for your drone. It's gonna protect it from a blown out image quality that an open shutter is gonna give you. So if you use an ND filter, it's gonna allow for a very crisp image and it's gonna bring the darkness down a little bit. So if you're wondering about the number of images that you should be capturing, we found that anything over 250 images gives you a long enough hyperlapse for it really to be worth it. Anything under that is gonna be too quick and you're not gonna be able to get an idea of the final video. So number five on our list is always capture your images in manual settings so that you can get the best out of each image and then always save those images to your SD card in raw format. And the next tip is to use waypoints mode. So when you go into the hyperlapse setting, the intelligent flight mode in your drone, you're gonna be able to choose a couple different options. My favorite is the waypoints mode because it allows you to set different locations that your drone will fly to. That's the movement that differentiates it from a time-lapse, which is just in one place, and then a hyperlapse includes movement. So use waypoints mode, don't worry about the rest of them. We used all of those and found that waypoints is the best. And then going off our last tip, incorporate some movement into your hyperlapse. It always gives it a more dynamic effect. So set the gimbal pitch that you want and then set the actual waypoint that you want it to navigate to. That's gonna create that real dynamic movement. So I hope you enjoy those eight tips to creating a better hyperlapse and we'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.